Hello again. So if you're new to composting with worms and using worm bins, you may have come across this idea of adding eggshells to the worm bin. And you may be wondering what that's all about. So there's three main reasons for adding eggshells to a worm bin. The first and primary reason is that the worms, when the eggshells are ground up really fine, they will use the eggshells as grit in their gizzard to help with breaking down food and extracting the bacteria and fungi and nutrients from the food. The second reason is that eggs are predominantly calcium carbonate, so they're an alkaline. And if your bin is slightly on the acidic side, this will help with managing the acidity of the bin. And the third reason is, finely ground up, the eggshells will add calcium to the final product, which is a good thing because plants need calcium, but keep in mind you can overdo it. Now, if you have eggshells this size in your worm bin, they're not really of any use to the worms because if you have worms with mads big enough to take in eggshells this size, I suggest you run. These will sit in your worm bin, they will break down, they're not going to cause the worms any problem, but you're going to be seeing the eggshells like this in your finished compost for a very long time. They can take months if not years at this stage to break down. Much better to actually grind them as fine as you possibly can. In this video I'm going to show you how I process my eggshells for adding to the worm bin. So the first thing is a container to store the eggshells in. I use one of these one kilo yogurt pots. When I've collected enough eggshells, usually 20 or 30, enough to make it worthwhile taking the coffee grinder out, I'll add the eggshells just to clean water to give them a rinse. And once rinsed, I'll stack them on a tray. Now you can put them in the oven and bake them, dry them that way, you can microwave them. I strongly recommend you do not do this, it'll stink your kitchen out. Don't ask me how I know this. Or you're, if you're in a sunny spot, you can just leave them outside to air dry. The important thing is, before they go into the coffee grinder, they're actually bone dry. What I do in my case is I use the top of the vivarium. And Suki doesn't seem to mind, although he does give me dirty looks from time to time. Normally 24 hours on top of the vivarium is enough to completely dry these eggs, but in this case these eggs have been sitting there for three or four days because I've been away. As I said, the important thing is to make sure the eggshells are completely bone dry because otherwise they will gum up your coffee grinder. You can use a rolling pin and foil, you can use a pistol and mortar, and um, there's various ways to crush them up, but the idea is you want them as crushed up as small as possible. Now I'm very lucky because I have Princess Anna from Frozen here to help me, and she is meticulous meticulously breaking these eggs into tiny, tiny little pieces before they go into the coffee grinder. Once we've filled the coffee grinder, we give it a couple of blasts, and here we have very finely ground up eggshells. Now the eggshells, apart from containing calcium carbonate, they also contain trace elements of magnesium, sodium, potassium, zinc, manganese, iron and copper, and they also have some phosphorus in them as well. So it's a very good addition to your finished vermicompost, and in terms of being useful for grit, the finer you can grind it up, the better. Now I think there was about 30, 35 eggshells there and once ground up they just filled a small juice glass and remember you're only going to use one or two pinches at a time depending on how big your worm bin so even 20 or 30 eggs will last you a very very long time I have a half an ice cream tub which is about two years old or three years old at this stage and I'm constantly adding to it and never get to use it all because I only put one or two pinches in at a time so here's the worm tower and the worms are looking very good this is in the very leaky windy plastic greenhouse so really no protection if you saw the previous videos you'll see it was as cold in here as it was outside but the worms are none the worse for it they're looking very healthy and well this is the tray that i've got the compostable wrapper in and i'll do an update on that shortly because we're finally starting to see some movement but all i do is i literally take a pinch of the ground up eggshells and sprinkle it all across the surface of the tray or the bed or the bin or whatever it is that you're working on and you can see that that little pinch there has covered the entire of that tray so you really only need a very 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 small amount despite the fact that that tray is full of worms that's still ample in terms of grit and then i simply work it in to the surface like so there's absolutely no problem adding some ground up eggshells with every feed but it's not necessary because a small little pinch will go a long way and it will last a very long time with the worms i add pinch every two months or so and my worms are happy and healthy and well and that regime works well for me but you'll find your own regime you'll find what works best for you experiment don't be afraid to try different feeding times and see how your worms and your bin looks and with that i'm just going to say as always thanks for watching bye for now